Breaking news. Jeff the Killer seems to have taken another set of victims. For privacy reasons, we will not be releasing names. His primary target seems to have been the young woman on scene, though her husband was also killed in the incident. Examination shows he had a fractured skull caused by blunt force trauma. The murder weapon is, as of yet, unknown. The only survivors were the couple's four-month-old baby and the babysitter, who had been locked in the closet while events transpired. Police have also found a letter written on the back of a paper bag in Sharpie and a Motorola droid still lit in the baby's crib. The babysitter, who was, again, locked in the closet, claims that she smelled the lingering odour of women's chief perfume and found glitter on the baby's crib. But who was it from? Police on scene were able to decipher the writing on the grocery bag. Here's what it said. If you are reading this, know that no matter how many innocent victims you claim or how much innocent blood you shed, I'm still coming for you in the end. All of the men and women you so viciously slaughtered and disemboweled, I beat you to it. I killed them not because I hate them. I imagined those victims were you as I took their lives. It was the mere vision of you that made me kill them. I never did like you, you greasy-headed, grinning, smug, ignorant son of a bitch. My black eyes may look like I'm void of vision, but I'm not stupid. Just remember, the night that you creep into a poor girl's bedroom, you're gonna fall head over heels down the fucking stairs with your guts caught on the broken glass of the window that I smashed you into. Tonight, when I reach you, evil will battle evil, winner kills all, and the only one who will not get out alive is you. I'm coming for you. Sleep well. Signed, Jane the Killer. Hey! Thanks for listening to my rewrite and reading of the creepypasta Jane's Letter. I actually like the original, but the story lacks perspective, so that's the main thing I wanted to fix here. I decided not to go with an origin story this reading, since those tend to conflict and neither mesh well with my version of Jane, a combination of both. I'll let you go now. Enjoy the music, whatever I've picked. Mm.